Changes made to the MRF Mitsubishis at service have obviously helped their speed. Through Kaniwa, Gill is just 1.8 seconds slower than Atkinson, while Taguchi is another seven-tenths of a second behind. Five minutes left, break 70, don't cut three right tightens. Catching Atkinson is another matter, though. The Australian increases the lead margin further with a fast time through Rikubetsu. Arriving in finish control with a 44 second lead after seven stages. Green's going well in the MRU Subaru. Unlike team owner Rafik, who has continued to have gearbox issues throughout the day and is last of the APRC competitors. Amazingly though, after all of his problems, the Asia Cup contender wins the return to the Abu Hero Super Special. I had a problem with my rear uh, drive shaft, which is, uh, was faulty, and my gearbox. Uh, so they're actually sorting out the linkages and so on. So I hope that's all sorted out and I'll have a smooth drive throughout the rally. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In the midfield, there's been a good battle going on between the event's APRC wildcards. Local drivers given the opportunity to compete in their home event against the international APRC drivers. The wildcards are led by Katsu Taguchi's father, 63-year-old Sayachiro Taguchi. He's sixth overall, and his son Katsu is a surprise first overall, because in the top five, everything changes in the last set of stages. Atkinson keeps charging and extends his lead on SS8, Ashoro, to a handy 50 seconds. But without warning, near the end of Kaniwa 3, smoke starts coming out of the engine bay. And Atkinson and Stefan Prevo's event is over. The championship leader is bitterly disappointed as he reflects on another retirement from the league and what the implications are for the APRC title fight. We've had a mechanical problem and uh, the car stopped. Looks like the engine, so nothing we can do. With Atkinson's demise, everyone shuffles up a place. Sunkar moves to fifth spot, a little disappointed with his pace, but happy that on each of the three passes through the stages, he and co-driver Scott Beckwith have gone faster. Easy five left, on bump, and caution five right, into five minus left. In fact, the Pertamina driver sets the fastest time on the final stage of the day, half a second quicker than the next quickest, Taguchi. And six right, opens and tightens on brow. Sumiyama is fourth and could have been even further up the order if not for this high speed off in stage nine. A brush with the bush though doesn't dent his confidence for tomorrow. Tomorrow's action may be a good time. Yeah. So you're going to push hard tomorrow? Yeah, push hard. Yeah. Yeah. By the end of the day, McRae has recovered from fifth to third, but still well behind the MRF cars. <laughs> obviously good to be here. I think we're third in the points for the, the APRC, which is good. Uh, disappointing to lose the time with the puncture, because if it wasn't for that, you know, we'd have been probably, you know, a minute and 20 up on, on Katsu. But then seeing the same thing, we're here and Chris is not, so uh, good to be here. Really throws open the championship a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, OK, there's only, well, 60, 65 Ks tomorrow, but there's still a lot can happen. Uh, we obviously, the, the main thing now is to get round, get as many points to, as we can tomorrow, then, yeah, for sure, if, if we get round OK, then China's going to be an interesting fight. The MRF Mitsubishis haven't been on the pace of the Protons, but at the end of the day, they're both in front.
Gill has been fastest through the day, until the last two forest stages where he picks up a puncture and then finds he has a bent rear suspension arm. He's forced to ease off in the final stages, allowing teammate Taguchi to claim a 22 second lead. Last year's APRC champion is totally surprised to find he's in the top spot. Yeah, yeah, I am surprised because we uh, couldn't because we are fast on the road, so we couldn't see that all the time. So we finally we went coming back to the uh, last last SS. So everybody telling me we are the you know, fast with the APRC. Are you changing back to Group N though? Yeah, actually, I think the guild car is a little bit bent at the top arm, so we are just safe uh, using a Group N suspension. Yeah. Removing Taguchi's R4 spec suspension to give it to his teammate and give him more chance of winning is a major job. And as a result, Taguchi picks up another handicap. The team's late checking into the day's final control and incurs a 30 second time penalty. That drops Taguchi back to second, eight seconds behind teammate Gill. Day two of Rally Hokkaido comprises 65 kilometers, held over three stages, each run twice, and finishing with the Obahiro Super Special. The weather is looking exceptional, with a fine sunny day predicted. The first stage, Otafuki, starts just on sunrise, and the battle is intense right away, with Gil fastest and McRae just two tenths of a second behind. On the next test, pause Kamui, McRae wins the stage outright in his S2000 Satria, with Sumiyama just one second slower in his Group N Mitsubishi. McRae continues to set quick times through the morning and gradually starts to reel in second place to Gucci. By stage 15, a repeat of Paws Kamui, McRae has cut the gap to Taguchi from 35 seconds to just 18. But with just 28 kilometres of high-speed rallying left, it's going to require some amazing driving from McRae to catch Taguchi on his home turf. With his Mitsubishi back to Group N spec, Taguchi, though, is gradually losing time to Gill in the R4 version. By midday service, Gill has extended his lead from 8 to 20 seconds. On the super quick Honobetsu, green Subaru engine cries enough. The Kiwi is forced to park it and becomes a spectator for the rest of the day. So Brian, uh, a bit of bad luck here. Yes, unfortunately the um, engine's been fuming a little bit um, during the course of the event, but it was fuming quite bad at the start of the stage and we could just come down the big long straight there and it started running on three cylinders and then we had a bit of a fire, so we were just lucky enough to stop at the spectator point here and there's some extinguishers and put that out, otherwise I'm not sure if our extinguisher would have done it or not. But uh, no, it's a sad end to the event, but um, as, we, as, we, as we all know, that's motorsport, unfortunately. Green's teammate Rafik, though, is fighting his way back up the leaderboard. Yesterday's gearbox problems clearly fixed. Just 11 seconds in front of him is Young in the 1.6 Proton. But unfortunately, the New Zealanders' event comes to an end on the second run through Otafuki. A rear wheel comes off the Proton and shears off the wheel studs. Singh and Bamba are constantly swapping times, with Singh still holding a 35 second advantage. However, there is a big battle going on between these two drivers, to be fastest driver of the day in two wheel drive and take bonus points. As Singh and Bamba take the final stage, the Oberhero Super Special, they're on identical times. And unbelievably, at the end of 65 kilometres of high-speed tough competition, both Proton drivers still have identical times for the day, 46 minutes 39.5 seconds. So they share the bonus points.
With the finish in sight, Sunka finds the day two roads to his liking and is consistently in the top five. But with a big gap to catch his teammate, the Indonesian has been concentrating on making sure of a solid finish to secure driver points. Sumiyama sets a blistering pace, usually in the top two, and really enjoys the fast open roads. The speed on leg two is enough to pick up bonus points for second fastest driver of the day. Quickest overall for day two though is McRae. While the Proton is often on the rev limiter on the long straights, in the tight stuff, the Satria S2000 is uncatchable. Into a flat right. McRae's pace takes him to within 8.8 seconds of Taguchi. Having given up his car's R4 suspension to teammate Gill, Taguchi has found the car very nervous throughout the day, but still has enough speed to keep McRae at bay. Gill drives a controlled day two, just fast enough to ensure he cannot be caught and to win the final run through Honebetsu. Gill and co-driver Glenn McNeil have every reason to celebrate as now the APRC driver's title is back within reach. With a 1-2 for MRF, there are big celebrations on the podium. And after the champagne, Gill invites Taguchi to share the top spot with him. But the celebrations for the team are short-lived when officials declare the Mitsubishi's R4 modifications illegal and exclude Gil from the results. Gil's exclusion promotes Taguchi to APRC winner, 8.8 seconds in front of McRae. Sumiyama and Sunkar are next. Singer's ninth and first of the two-wheel drive entrants with Akira Bamba and co-driver Takahiro Yasui winning the Asia Pacific Junior Cup for 2011. Gill's exclusion has a significant impact on the driver's title points board and now only McRae or Atkinson can win the championship. Sunkar, Gill and Taguchi are very close in the battle for third. The fight between Proton and Mitsubishi for the manufacturer's title is also tight. China Rally is going to be very interesting.